Are you ready to learn how to download your raw data from Family Tree DNA? I'm Danny Francis and I'm here to help you with your DNA guide. Now, if you'd prefer to read about this instead of watching the video, totally good. Go ahead and check out our article on our website over here. To get started, you're going to go to the sign in page for Family Tree DNA, type in your username and password, and you'll get to this home page. Now, at the top, there's a menu bar. We want the results and tools menu bar, so hover over that, and a couple of different options will come down. We want the autosomal DNA section, so hover over that, and you'll get another menu bar that comes down. Click on the download raw data option. You can see there's a couple different options of the data you can download. First, there's just the autosomal, there's also just the X chromosome, and then there's the concatenated data, which is the autosomal and X chromosome data combined. Click on whichever one you'd like to download by clicking on the orange arrow button. For me, when I clicked on the arrow button, it starts to download in that lower left corner on my screen. On your computer, it might download to a slightly different space or in a slightly different process. But once it's all done, you'll want to make sure you know exactly where it's saved. You don't necessarily need to open the file, but you do want to know where it is on your computer. So I opened my file explorer. Here I can see that just the automatic place it saves to is my downloads folder. I don't think I want to leave it there because I'll probably lose it and forget about it there. So instead, I'll move it to my DNA folder, but you can move it to wherever you would like to. For many of you, your next step is going to be transferring or uploading your DNA to another website. If you'd like to learn more about that, go ahead and check out our article series over here. If you don't want to do that, totally fine. Just give yourself a pat on the back because you just did the DNA.